Is it better to be popular or good? Now, obviously, I know the answer is both. But if you had to choose one. Welcome back to the channel. So is it better to be good, dare I say great at CrossFit? Or to be popular, to be a fan favorite? Now, just to give a little context to this video, everyone I'm going to speak about is an incredible athlete, especially when compared to mere mortals like ourselves. And compared to someone like me, they are all extremely popular. In fact, it was quite humbling to make this video. You can, of course, help make me slightly more popular by subscribing to the channel and sharing the video around, but I would still be a long way off from these guys. But it is a funny time in CrossFit right now because on the one hand, we have people making their return trip to the CrossFit Games, yet they are selling t-shirts and merchandise or crowdfunding just so they can cover the costs to physically make it to the CrossFit Games. But then at the same time, we have articles like this coming up in the Morning Chalk Up talking about the professionalizing of CrossFit. But what I thought was interesting about this article is that they spoke with Kate Burton from Fittis PR. So when talking about professionalizing CrossFit, they're not talking to a CrossFit Games athlete or a coach or an event organizer, but a PR company. And that's really what sparked this question of, is it better to be good or popular? Now, in this article, they reference Zach George as an example. So he has graced the cover of Men's Health magazine. Having watched him compete live at multiple events, it's obvious he is an incredible athlete. He's also an incredibly popular athlete. In fact, at Strength and Depth, whenever the MCs would call his name, the roar from the crowd was deafening. I think the only time you could hear a louder cheer was for Sam Briggs. But if we had scales and we had Zach George's accolades on one side and his popularity on the other, how would it balance out? Unfortunately, Zach has never made it to the CrossFit Games. He did qualify by winning the Open for the UK, but unfortunately that invitation was then removed due to COVID. He's been to some big competitions like Dubai, where in 2019 he came 14th. He came third last year at the Madrid Championships. And he's done very well at, you know, local competitions around the UK. But what about his popularity? On Instagram, he has 235,000 followers. His YouTube channel, a respectable 7.16 thousand subscribers. As mentioned, he's graced the cover of Men's Health magazine. He's also been featured in GQ magazine, for example. But if we want to talk about strength in depth as an example, who won? Well, it was Willy Georges. Not only did he win Strength in Depth, but he has made multiple appearances at the CrossFit Games with a highest finish of ninth in 2018. And he's punched his ticket to the Games again this year. He's also been to Dubai, finishing third in 2018, just behind Matt Fraser and BKG. And then the following year, he came 13th, which put him one spot above Zach George. So you could make the argument that Willie's achievements within CrossFit are greater than that of Zach's. But what about his popularity? Well, his Instagram is only half that of Zach George's, 121,000 followers. His YouTube, though, is actually doing better. And unfortunately, I couldn't find him in any kind of magazines like Your Men's Health or GQ. Uh, obviously, he's been in a lot of CrossFit-based media. Uh, now, that may be a limitation on my part because perhaps my Google search isn't pulling up any French articles or magazines that he would have appeared in. So it would seem like maybe Zach is more popular, although it's, it's quite close on a couple of things, isn't it? But what happens when we start to look at the women's field? Well, we have Turi Helgadote. She is making her seventh appearance at the CrossFit Games. I mean, if we're going to talk accolades, I don't really need to say much more, do I? Yet, in order to get back for the seventh time, she is currently crowdfunding to cover the expenses of the flights, the hotels, and everything else she needs to pay her way to get there. And she's not spoken of the same way as Sarah Sigmund's daughter or Catherine David's daughter. But currently, she's the only one of them with a games ticket. On her Instagram, she has similar numbers to that of Willie with uh, 143,000 followers. 
But why don't we compare her to another female in the division? What about someone like Danny Spiegel? So she also has done well within CrossFit. She came fifth in 2018 at Dubai. Unfortunately, last year, she had to withdraw from the CrossFit Games due to an injury. And she has managed to punch her ticket again this year. But arguably, once again, we could say that probably Turi's accolades are greater with her now going back to the Games for the seventh time. But what about their popularity? When you look at Danny's Instagram, 931,000 followers. That's incredible. Now, of course, she appeared on the Titan Games, actually winning season two of the Titan Games. So that will no doubt have increased her reach to maybe those outside of CrossFit as well. What about her YouTube channel? Uh, this is the one I find really interesting. So she has 10.2 thousand subscribers, so more than that of Zach George. But all she posts are her qualification videos. So that's quite incredible. But ultimately, why does any of this matter? Well, it's because none of these athletes are making huge sums of money from competing within CrossFit. Yes, they are winning prize money, and sometimes they win the big prizes. But when you factor in the costs to get to these competitions, agents fees, hotels fees, things like that, it's pretty clear to see they are not making huge sums of money from these prize purses. But the more popular that you are, the more opportunities present themselves. And we're seeing more brands move in to CrossFit. And when they're looking for people to sponsor, to strike up maybe multi-year deals with, they're not going back through spreadsheets and seeing how did they do in Dubai or at Rogue or their semi-final. They will be looking to see how big a reach these athletes have. How many eyeballs can they get on our product if we use this person? If you think of someone like Sarah Sigmund's daughter, she will never make as much money from competing in CrossFit as she does from the numerous deals she's secured. Now, of course, in an ideal world, you want both, right? Popular and good. So you've got someone like Justin Medeiros. He's won the CrossFit Games. He's taken the biggest prize purse. He's also recently started a YouTube channel that already has 26,000 followers. And his Instagram, 415,000 followers. So he's really seeing the best of both worlds. And of course, we couldn't go on without speaking about Tia Claire Toomey. She is basically picking up prize purses. At any event she goes to, she's going to be taking the top prize. She's won the games multiple years. That's multiple prize purses. But she also has a whopping 1.7 million followers on Instagram. She's also got a YouTube channel with 198,000 subscribers. Now, admittedly, that's her and Shane's YouTube channel. So even if we give Shane half, and I think we'd be being generous, that's still a lot of subscribers. But of course, not everyone can be Tia. Not everyone can be Justin. But it would appear in the current CrossFit climate, it seems to be more important how popular you are than how you perform, at least financially speaking. Now, don't get me wrong. You've got to be really good at CrossFit to also get that popularity. But you don't need to be the best to get the best deals. So at the end of the day, it is going to come down to the individual athlete. What is the ultimate goal? Do they want to be the best athlete they can possibly be? Or are they willing to sacrifice time, maybe from training, to work on their personal brand? Because they see more financial stability in being the most popular athlete they can be. I guess the choice is up to them. Now, of course, for me, I'm never going to be the best athlete in any room. But if you want to help make me a little bit more popular, still way off from these guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please share it around. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video.